Hey, how's it going guys? The Census Bros here giving another video, and in today's video, Black Ops 2. So it's been a while since I've touched Black Ops 2 because I, as you guys know in my last video I told you guys I converted over to the PS4. Uh, the last video was the GTA race, and I converted over to the PS4 for a little bit, used that as my main console. Now I switched back to the PS3 because uh, I have quite a few friends on PS3 that still don't have a PS4. And I do miss that console, so I decided to move back and play a couple of games of uh, Grand Theft Auto 5 and Black Ops 2. So we all fantasize about having the perfect game on Black Ops 2. Now, I don't know what you guys fantasize about having most, but one thing for sure, I fantasize about having the perfect game. We have zero deaths and just straight up kills. Now, I don't know about you, but I went absolutely beast mode. I don't know what you call it, maybe uh, there'll be an angry comment every now and again, but... Uh, I did pretty well in this game, um, most of it is pretty campy, I did more of a stealthy approach instead of full out guns blazing, which is what I normally do. This one I did more of a lay back type of uh, match, instead of going guns blazing and trying to kill everybody, I wanted to take more of a tactical approach and let the enemy come towards me. I thought that was more of a smarter move because not only was this the best game of my night, this one was only the third to fourth game that I played of uh, Black Ops uh, 2 after I came on, after I played uh, the PS4. So I was pretty impressed with myself, and because I played a bunch of Black Ops 3, I got the bu I kept getting the buttons confused, so if you guys don't know, on the PS4, the uh, aim down and shoot buttons are L2 and R2, but uh, on Black Ops 2 it's the opposite, so instead of R2, L2, it's L1 and R2, so it's very very confusing so uh, every time I kept switching to you know try and aim and shoot and it goes there's no tacticals and then I'm throwing my C4 about and it's just like no no that's that's wrong you don't throw your C4 about so uh, as you guys know I'm one of those people that when you hype me up too much I kind of get a bit flustered and I don't know what to do so uh, I was trying to keep my cool here and my friends uh, kept uh, bugging me and kept saying you're gonna die you're gonna die so that's a shout out to my friend PJ and a shout out to my friend Khan uh, they kept like hustling me saying I was gonna die every two seconds you're gonna die bro you're gonna die I was like nah mate mate I'm god I ain't gonna die nah so we continuously played this lobby they must have thought I was hacking or something because I, I got so many friend requests after this it's ridiculous you play one good lobby or you play one good game and you get friend requests all over the place now that I'm trying to brag that on social media I have loads of friends but damn the amount of uh, I think I got like five friend requests or something ridiculous like that from this oh absolutely hilarious so as you can see my friends were trying to mess me up here because you know they they wanted me to stop getting a, a few kills and they also wanted just to be total dicks uh, I used that in a nice way and not in a derogatory term and they were just like trying to mess me up basically so I did go back into theater mode because this game is a, a few days if not a, about a week old I'd say uh, I'd say it's still a few days but uh, one thing's for sure though, I had to go into theater mode to record it because I wasn't recording at the time, I had other stuff to do. And now that I recorded it, I'm really glad that uh, theater mode actually exists because I would have been absolutely screwed if I didn't record this. And it's just amazing to finally have that one perfect game. Uh, I've never once had this much of a perfect game where I've had just straight up kills and zero deaths. And it's absolutely fantastic that I've actually finally, after what? Four years, three years of the game being out that I can finally, you know, get that. Two, three years, I would say, of Black Ops 2 being out. And I finally got that perfect game where I had zero deaths and just straight up kills. I was just going absolutely monster on these people. So, if you guys want some tips on how to be, uh, how to play a little bit better, now that Call of Duty Black Ops 2 isn't as filled with as much, uh, you know, tryhards and sweaters now. I suppose uh, you could do more of what I'm doing, more of a tactical approach to, you know, let the enemies come to you. Not exactly a campy game because nobody likes a camper. I mean, you could argue that I am camping in this game, and as you might be right, I still did uh, still did move around a little bit. So as this uh, commentary is coming to a close, I do have other videos on the way. So uh, be sure to stick around for that. I know my uploads have been a bit slow, but uh, that's one thing that will be happening. And uh, yeah, so I hope you guys did enjoy the visual stuff again. Uh, it took me a little while to do it, but I finally remembered the type of style and, you know, unique turns that I had to do. So uh, as this video commentary is coming to a close, I hope you guys are having a good December. And as the hype gets absolutely unbelievably real for Christmas. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please give a like, rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you bros in the next video. Likes and dotes. And I was nice, Bros. Out. See you guys in the next video.